Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well and hope you're keeping safe. Today is the day that we are going to watch 10 scariest places people got stuck. If you really do enjoy this video, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe button and let's continue with the video. In the ice. One of the scariest places to ever get stuck has to be beneath a frozen lake. Trapped and cold? No, thank you. No, thanks. And while we're on the subject, you'd have to be absolutely crazy to jump in and try oh. and swim in a lake that is mostly frozen over with a solid sheet of ice. And yet recently in China, that's exactly what a man did. This guy thought he was being cool and a daredevil and had his friends videotape him when he jumped through a small hole in the frozen lake. But as you can imagine, it's a lot easier getting in than getting out. And this guy oh, yeah. went from trying to show off to a damsel in distress. Because once you're going through the ice, if you just jump through a puddle of ice, a puddle into the water full of ice, the current's just going to push you. I don't know what it is, but the current will just push you the whole way through. And it's, it's, it's scary because you just can't get yourself out. You're trapped in the ice. I just, I just wouldn't do it. No. Real fast. He got stuck in the freezing cold water under the sheet of ice and he could not break his way through the surface. No. The video of the entire horrific incident was uploaded to social media and the man can be seen desperately trying to paw his way out of the ice, but it wasn't working. Luckily, this guy had his friends with him and they were smart enough to run to his rescue and stomp as hard as they could on the ice and save his life just in the nick of time. But let this be a lesson to everyone out there. You should never jump into a frozen lake. It's not the brightest idea and you'll probably get stuck. Yeah. Number nine, the Don't terminal man. A man named Mehran Karimi Nasuri was stuck inside of the Charles de Gaulle airport in France from August 26, 1988 to July of 2006. This is the real story of the guy who literally lived inside the departure lounge of Terminal 1 for 18 years. What? His story is fascinating. Mehran was a refugee from Iran who was expelled in 1977. In 1986, he decided to move to the United Kingdom, but on his way, he lost his papers and he had his briefcase stolen. The British immigration officials then forced him on a plane back to France and the French would not let him out of the airport. He ended up literally getting stuck inside of the terminal and locked in a series of legal debacles and government loopholes that made him a refugee of no country for 18 years. Oh Imagine my. seeing all those planes arrive and depart full of people going home and never being able to do the same. You may have seen the movie The Terminal starring Tom Hanks. Oh yeah. Well, that was pretty much about this guy. Jeez. He didn't leave the airport until he needed to be hospitalized in 2006. And ever since 2008, he's been living in a shelter in Paris. But to be honest, he probably misses his life in the terminal. Number eight, trapped in an elevator. Do elevators make anyone else a little claustrophobic? In New York, a production manager. Yeah, I just, I just don't trust elevators because when they go up and they, you know, you probably have seen it where you're in the elevator and you're just going up and then it starts to pause or starts to like shake after. Oh, it's just horrible because when you're up, if you're in a hotel and you're going so high up, and something happens, that's it. You, you, you're just gone, absolutely gone. Oh God. Manager got stuck inside of an elevator for 41 hours. Nicholas White was working at the office late one night and decided to take a break. He went outside for a cigarette and then headed back to the 39th floor to burn the midnight oil. He was on his way up when the elevator stopped halfway there. Oh. White hit the alarm, but nothing happened. It was 11 o'clock at night and the building was deserted. At first, he assumed someone would be coming, but after a few hours, he realized he was in deep trouble. It took almost two full days for him to be rescued. He suffered the entire time inside the elevator, pacing back and forth, taking naps, and not having anything to eat or any water to drink. According to the report from ABC News, at one point, he thought he would die of dehydration. He even had to relieve himself by prying open the elevator doors a little and then urinating down the shaft of the elevator. Finally, nice. people came back to the office and he was rescued. He even managed to get a settlement from the building afterwards, so at least he got something out of the whole ordeal. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video wow. a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. Number seven, stuck on the toilet. A woman recently spent two years stuck on the toilet, and I'm not joking. 
According to CBS News, the woman spent so long sitting at the toilet that the seat literally adhered to her flesh. And in case this wasn't weird enough, we want you to know that the sheriff actually had to use a pry bar to get the seat off the toilet and the woman was then delivered to the hospital with the seat still attached to her butt. The boyfriend was charged in Ness County District Court with mistreatment of a dependent adult. In a statement from the boyfriend, he told the Associated Press that the only thing he was guilty of was not getting help for her sooner. Oh, Number wow. six, That's locked funny. in a bank vault. A teenager in Florida recently got locked inside of an old bank vault in one of the most startling events ever. This happened in Hollywood, Florida, when somehow the 17-year-old boy wandered into the enormous 14 by 14 foot vault and the door closed behind him. Oh, but what's really crazy shit. is that the vault wouldn't just open up easily to let him out. It took specialized vault experts several hours to get it open and for the teenager to be rescued. However, it's unclear exactly why the teenager walked into the vault in the first place, or how he even managed to get in there at all. The trapped vault vic- I think it's because he wants to get some money, because probably leftover money, or leftover cash, or diamonds, or pearls. Most people would do that anyway if they found an old secret vault, but I just wouldn't ever go in there. If it's even anything that's valuable in there, I just wouldn't, because I just know for a fact it could shut on me, and then that's it. I would not be able to get out. Victim dodged these questions while exiting the building and fled the scene in a car with his parents. So what do you think the rush was? Number five, mm, the last yeah. POW. Andras Toma was a Hungarian man who worked as an apprentice to a blacksmith until being drafted into the Second World War. He fought as part of the Hungarian German expedition and was captured as a prisoner of war by the Soviet army in 1944. In a bizarre turn of events, he ended up 600 miles from Moscow locked in a psychiatric ward. He spoke Old Hungarian, which was not a language most could understand. He was neglected and ignored in the mental asylum and forgotten for 53 years. The nurses and other patients thought he was just crazy and that he'd made up his own language. Somewhere in all the bureaucracy, Tamai ended up being deleted from the records. Nobody oh knew he was still being held prisoner 53 years after the war had finished. What? You'd think after decades of being treated as if you were crazy, you'd actually just end up crazy, right? Or yeah. perhaps he enjoyed life there at the mental institution over war. When he was finally released from captivity, he made his way back to Hungary. After half a century stuck inside of a mental institution, he ended up being the last prisoner of war from World War II to be returned to his home country. As an expression of thanks and a recognition of his ordeal, the Hungarian Ministry of Defense promoted him to the rank of Sergeant Major and gave him the soldier's salary of the 53 years he'd been absent. Whoa. Four years later, he died of natural causes at the uh. age of 79. Number four, stuck in a well. In 20 He didn't really live his life then because he was in asylum, so... Ugh. I'll repeat to him. 20, a horrific incident occurred in India when a young boy got stuck in a well. This child was only five years old when he was playing near a bore well in the Nirawati district of Barabajurg village. Apparently, the boy's father was one of the workers fitting a pipe inside when his son fell into it. Oh my. What's really horrifying about this story is that the hole was 200 feet deep, with about 100 feet filled with water. By some crazy miracle, police and medical officers were able to rescue the boy in an outstanding overnight operation that took about 16 hours. Oh my God. Even the army was called in to help rescue this small child from perhaps one of the scariest places that a young boy could ever get stuck. Oh, in the end, yeah. everything turned out all right. But you can bet that little boy is going to have some space issues later in life. Oh yeah. Number three, Definitely. the worst death imaginable. A man stuck upside down in Nutty Putty Cave did not have the same luck as the boy retrieved from the well. Despite the rescue efforts of a few dozen rescue operators, 26-year-old John Jones of Stansbury Park died at roughly 2.30 a.m. on November 9th of 2009. This happened 28 hours after first getting stuck 700 oh. feet deep inside no. the Nutty Putty Cave. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, tight spaces, no. That's even the worst thing as well, getting stuck in a cave. Why would you go down so far? To, to, I know to explore, to have an adventure, that's understandable, but why would you do that? Just You've got to think to yourself, I probably will die here, or probably something will happen to me, but just, just no, just... Tight spaces, no thank you, but that is just horrifying.
This spelunker apparently got stuck while exploring the cave with a group of friends, but he was trapped at a horrifying angle, oh. his head below his feet and his body contorted in a painful position. Oh. He was deep inside of a crevice known as the birth canal because it's so tight and hard to fit through. Rescuers were not able to get him out in time, and John continued to have a difficult time breathing and even just trying to remain conscious. I don't understand why people do this in life. Why would you risk your own life to go through a tiny hole through a cave? You think you might get some gold or stuff. That That's understandable. But, no, it's not understandable. What I'm trying to say is, like, why would you do that? In your right mind, why would you say to yourself, oh, let's go exploring a cave. Let's fit through a tiny gap just about here. Why? Of course, something's going to go wrong. Some rescue workers described what John went through as the worst death imaginable. Oh. And according to his brother, they were all just trying to have a good time exploring the caves. Eleven friends had gone in together, but everyone split up. And John Jones happened to adventure into a dangerous crevice that he never crawled back out of. Number two, stuck in the chimney. Imagine getting stuck inside of a chimney 290 feet tall upside down for hours only to die from hypothermia. Well, that is basically what happened to Robert Philip Longcake, known cordially to his friends as Phil. This went down near the end of October on top of a massive chimney in Cumbria that was part of an old cotton factory. The chimney is something of a historic landmark in Cumbria, and it's believed that Phil probably climbed to the top using old temporary ladders as part of recent maintenance work that had been going on. But unfortunately, Phil got his leg trapped between a ladder and the brickwork, oh. and this left him dangling upside down by his boot. Someone heard him screaming at about 2 a.m. and the police were called. A helicopter flew in and eventually a cherry picker had to be brought in from Glasgow to get the man. It was 14 hours before Philip Longcake was brought back down to the ground. And despite the rescue team giving it all they had, unfortunately he was already dead by the time they got to him. According to the autopsy, Philip died from hypothermia and cerebral swelling, likely caused by being suspended upside down for so long. Man, what were you thinking, Phil? Why? Number one, why? Omera why? Sanchez. Omera Sanchez was living with her family in the small Colombian town of Armero when the Nevado del Ruiz volcano erupted. It was November 13th, 1985, when the eruption completely wiped her town off the map. If you're not into extremely sad stories, I suggest ending the video right now, because this one, it's a bit of a heartbreaker. She was only 13 years old when her house was destroyed by the blazing lava spewing volcano, and she became trapped underneath the crumbled roof of her home. Rescue oh, workers eventually arrived at the shit. scene to help the desperate and unfortunate people of the town, but sadly, this innocent young girl simply could not be saved oh, in the aftermath no. of the eruption, and here's why. It turned out that her legs were trapped underneath an extremely heavy brick door, and being clutched tightly by one of her dead family members underneath her. She was literally trapped from beneath, with only her shoulders and head sticking out from the flooded rubble. Oh. She was essentially stuck inside of a lake of debris up to her neck in muddy water. The most horrifying part of this young girl being stuck is that she remained like that for 60 hours. Oh. Rescuers stayed with the young girl the entire time that she was trapped, as her hands grew paler and paler. Oh, no. Her eyes turned red and she slowly began to lose her grip on life. She eventually realized that she was going to die. She bid goodbye to her mother. She asked the rescue workers to please leave her alone and let her die in peace. No. And now here's why they couldn't rescue her. It turned out that the brick wall trapping her legs had done so much damage and was so heavy that the only way to get her out would have been to break her legs or amputate them. And they simply did not have the medical supplies to do either one of those things. Scariest place you've ever got stuck, please let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, if you have learned something today, I definitely have. Um, learn to actually not get stuck in the scariest places ever. Just basically do not get stuck anywhere, <laughs> to be honest with you. And think before you do things. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did learn anything, that's great. Uh, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.